Greetings everyone, this is the John Audio Tech Show. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> but this is Tom of Zarbo Audio Projects on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description if you want to take a look at his videos. And this is his wife. Hi. Nice to meet you. And look what he's done for me. He's built these speakers, the cabinets. I supply the drivers. And uh, what kind of wood? That is that, ebony wood. It's very nice. And he's done everything here. We'll look at these more in depth when I get home. But they're braced. You got two braces in them. We got the crossover. He stuffed them. I mean, we're ready to go. I just drop in the drivers and give them a whirl. And down here is the crossover. We'll take a look at that more in depth. But he spent some time tuning them, getting the way he wanted the sound. The drivers are budget, so there are some challenges there. But I'm going to give them a good listen, see what they sound like. Well, I made it back home safely. It's about a 45-minute trip down there. Hopefully the phone... Got some good audio and video there. Yeah, I just can't believe somebody would make these for me. I offered money, but didn't want to accept any. Um, I don't know if I can show you the, the crossovers. Quite a bit of components there to get it tuned. Yeah, I can't really show you everything. But there's... Uh, Quite a bit of components there. Use the uh, speaker stuffing. This is not your regular pillowcase stuff. This is more the uh, dense type stuffing. Fiber fill. These speakers are heavy. I don't know how much they weigh. 25, 30 pounds. But they're not small speakers. And they're not light speakers. So... You know, I just can't wait any longer. I got to get the drivers in there. I want to hear these things. Okay, the drivers are now installed. Flush with the front baffle. Really nice look there. Very happy with the looks. Set them up on the bench here and been listening to them. It's actually a few days later. So I had plenty of time listening and I will talk about the results here in a minute but first let me talk about how the project started since it's been very slow going and people who follow my channel might have forgotten about it or if you're new around here you don't know about it but it's been about two and a half years ago and I wanted to build kind of a medium sized speaker with an 8 inch woofer dome tweeters I like dome tweeters initially I was thinking of going with a ported design but lately I've really liked the sealed alignments I think the base is how to describe it tighter smoother and the gentle roll off with in room response you just get a really lovely base with this type of speaker so I ended up going that route the drivers I chose for this product are the Dayton Audio DC 200-8 woofer and the DC 28F-8 1 and 1 8 inch silk dome tweeter. I chose the Dayton Audio drivers because they give you a pretty good bang for your buck. They are on the budget side, but like I say, I think you get a pretty good product there for your money. This driver also will work well in a sealed alignment, giving you a pretty decent base as well. So how did Tom get involved in this project? Well, I was thinking early on that I probably would farm out having these cabinets made. I really don't have all the tooling needed to build these things. Build a nice set, and if I'm going to produce something, it's probably going to be a rectangle butt-jointed plywood affair well this fella contacted me 
and asked if I would review this little uh, music player panel. And uh, Tom sent this to me and I reviewed it and posted the video. And I checked out his channel and I noticed that he builds speakers. I mean, he does some pretty wild stuff. I mean, he does compound curves and bends and things. And, well, I asked him, I said, hey, I need some cabinets made for my project. And I wondered if you would take that on. I would pay you for it. And he said, sure, I'll take it on. And you don't even have to pay me. And I said, well, I can pay you. But, I mean, that, it's going to take some effort to build such a nice cabinet. You know, he's got curves and everything in these things. But I, he wouldn't accept the money for it. He just likes to do it. And, uh, well, that's how he got involved in it, pretty much. You might be asking, why not go with an active crossover? Well, I wanted to be able to use this with any stereo amplifier. With an active crossover, you have to have the active filter itself, then two amplifiers per speaker, one for the woofer, one for the tweeter. And like I said, I just want to be able to hook it up to any of my stereo amplifiers. So how do I feel about the sound of these things? Well, I performed some listening tests. I play several hours of music and sit in front of them, kind of shuffle around and see how the imaging is. One test I like to do is play some true mono music and sit about the same distance that the speakers are apart, close my eyes, and does the sound sound like it's coming right from the center? If it sounds like it's right in the center, then the imaging is probably going to be pretty good with the speakers. And the imaging did sound pretty good. Really impressed with the bass these can make. You know, they are sealed. They're not going to be super efficient, blow the windows out type bass. But these dig pretty low. You know, I can hit down around 32 hertz. It sounds pretty good. And of course, that's going to be in-room extended bass. And like I said, I like the sealed alignment base, but you do need a driver that can deliver it. You can't go too small if you want bass in a sealed type system. Listening to a couple albums in front of these things, I didn't feel fatigued. They're not blasting you with uh, too much mid-range or, you know, tinny treble or anything like that. Tom said these budget drivers, they were a little challenging to get them flat. He did the best he could, and he thought he got them sounding pretty good. And I agree, they do sound pretty good. And, well, that's all I'm going to say on this. Uh, got another project completed. It takes me a while to get projects done around here. It took a while to get the JAT 501 amplifier done. And I know I keep mentioning the JAT 801 amplifier. Will I ever get that thing done? You know, sitting in the back of my mind for half a year I have a design change for it I just haven't sat down and done it of course I have excuses I have work and my project house here I've been working on yeah eventually I'll get to some of these other projects so before I end the video I'll put some clips of the show in Tom has one on his channel I'll put a link over there and he says he's going to put a video, a video up on making these speakers. I don't think it's up yet, but I think he made another pair of them. So, uh, yeah, I should have a video up at some point. And I'll leave it in my community post when he does. So you can check that out if you want to see that. And with that, I thank you for watching. Yeah, that's pretty cute.
these are 3D printed speakers. There's actually wood fiber mixed in with the PLA polymer. And I don't know if I can get real close or not. Yeah, I don't think that, there we go. That, that is pretty amazing. I'm on the shoe phone here, as Dave Jones would call it. Just perusing all the speakers. Kind of wish I could hear them play. I guess they have a demo room, but they're using it for judging right now, so can't really go in there. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. 